Hey guys, so I've been meaning to make this video. It's my 24 gallon aqua top. That's how it's going so far. A little bit of pulsinzenia, mushrooms. This, I don't know if it's dead or if that's how they come. Bought this from a local fish store. It was like white, orange, and green. I was very interested in their color. Brought it home. Come to find out that any coral that's white supposedly is bleached or is dying. So I'm going to see if that's true or not. This I've had for quite some time. Haven't seen much, um, much spread on this right here. I'm not even too sure what that is. New growth on the bottom here, new little polyp on my blue. And these pink, I've had these before, the greens, and they haven't really grown so much. The mocha storm, beautiful. They don't hang out in the leather yet, or the hammer. So I'm about, I'd say a little over a month in on the hobby. I know I really went to town on um, what I have, you know, but what can I say? Um, kind of impatient, but I'm very thorough on, you know, how I get down to business. I mean, I got all the little test kits. I got the HANA, the refractometer, even got a, hydro a hydrometer, little things, vacuum, I vacuum the sand once every two weeks this i pick up a dose maybe like a pinch of that every once a week ammonia quick little ammonia tests i got my alkalinity and calciums i've been testing for my stuff and my calcium's at like 440 and my um my alkalinity happened to be at 6.5 so i uh dosed about twice went up to 7.4 last time i checked i believe i had the protein skimmer on and that kind of like as i was putting the, the the alk in and i believe the protein skimmer just took out the whole dosage because i go to go check the next day and i'm a little lower than 7.4 unless what i have in the tank is consuming so much um consuming so much alkalinity that I'm dosing almost every day. If that's the case, somebody please reach out to this video because I, 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 I um, intend to post this online. I mean, you know, on YouTube. But yeah, 24 gallon aqua top. Got the hammer on the up top. Tyree leather. Green star polyps in the back wall. This is my little piece of SPS that really looks like you could see like the little polyps on it like getting longer and more beautiful by the day the base of it is um also you know stretching out like it didn't have that much green on the plug before i got it so for sure it's growing height wise i'm not really seeing it but time will tell my cleaner shrimp, he be messing with my corals sometimes. I don't like it, but he, I guess he stopped fucking with the leather, so I left him alone. Um, the hammer, by far, is probably one of my favorites in the tank with the new leather I bought. Oh yeah, I bought this piece right here for $5 at Manhattan Aquariums. Basically, they said, you know, it just needed some uh, TLC. So it looks like, you know, it's not doing so bad. Honestly. So that's good. Hopefully that spreads in my tank because I really like the whole cap stuff. It's my six line ras, my tail spot blenny. And if you could see them, my pair, pistol shrimp. The Watchman Gobi. He's starting to get a little more comfy. He's just coming out now. I lost one Gobi in this tank. It was really cool. Never seen it before. Bought it at Manhattan Aquarium. 
think I didn't acclimate it long enough for it being such a small fish. It was pretty damn small. So I lost him. So yeah, guys, I do, I did go a little crazy and bought me, as you can see, a bubble tip anemone. And now guys, this is my favorite piece in the whole entire tank. And I am very, very happy that it has came back to life because I'll tell you, yesterday I came back from work and this thing was not open. It was shriveled, light beaming on him and he was not doing so well. So he looks like he's back to life and I will feed that bastard till he's healthy again. Um, I don't like the flow that these um, that these postings that you're getting. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that. Um, yeah, man. Crustaceans. I'd say I got about three snails and about maybe four blue four blue-legged uh, hermit crabs. And I got one little feisty red hermit crab. That guy I have to pull off of co coral sometimes. He's not up to no good right now, but you know, I kept him in the tank because I guess it is a little fun. You know, it's like having a little pesky, uh, pesky little pet that keeps messing with the other guys, you know? So I haven't seen any damage. These recordias right here, I believe, split in my tank. See, I, you know, I, I smoke a little bit of marijuana occasionally, so um, I can't remember if this was me or I bought two caps of Recordia. I don't remember. But yeah, man, got two things for the flow. That top thing kind of pulled, pointed up to the top because I hate to see that little oil film. Even though I still see the oil film a little bit occasionally. That protein skimmer though, I called Aquatop about this protein skimmer. And you know, when I came across a uh, problem in my fish tank, and if this helps anybody else, um, which I can't really say is completely resolved because I still do get micro bubbles. I just dose the alkalinity. So I have my protein skimmer off, but you know, I guess it's being, a, I guess being that I turned it off so much during the 30 day cycle that they say the micro bubble stop, it hasn't really uh, broken as much as it should. So I'm gonna give it a couple more days till I call Aquatop. But before that, and or maybe this has to do with the break in, but before that, I felt like my protein skimmer wasn't picking up anything. But boy, I'll tell you, this thing is driving like a this thing is driving like a dream now, purring like a cat. When I turn this bad boy on, I notice that, and this is the big tip. If you have a 24 gallon aqua top and you're wondering why the hell your protein skimmer is not working. You come over here, you see that water level where your aqua top is. You know, obviously, you know, you have to take account for your salinity level and you know how much RO water you're dumping in, but Truthfully, you want to be about this this much over the aqua tub. I called them, they said about an inch away from the glass. I don't bring out the tape measure. I used to have it down here. And, I, and you know, I was complaining about things weren't um, functioning properly. And I felt like maybe if it doesn't have to do with the time it's been on, and maybe this is something that you guys should just try if you're just starting up this tank or you have the same question I had, but get that water level about right there, a little higher. Um, but yeah, man, I really like this hobby. Just started this up. Can't wait till everything fills in. You know, I, I have, um, I have sp a few different types of food. I think I was it the the Larry's Nano Reef um, Frenzy. I have that, and I also have a little pack of these green 
I guess green uh, micey shrimp. And they're like fed spirulina or something like that. I don't really feed that so much because it's frosted on me. So I have to buy a whole nother pack. Happened to the Larry's Reef Frenzy one to me too. I had to buy a whole nother pack. But yeah, as you can tell, I went big on the the XR15 Radeon when the guy told me at the at the job, you know, that they ran the amount of money that they did. I uh kind of gasped for air because um that's a lot of money. With the mount, another hundred bucks, sheesh. You know, I was uh down a pretty penny when I got into all of this. I haven't slowed down though. I think I'm moving a little too fast, but I don't want to have to, you know, f keep putting my hands in there. So bringing home new corals, you know, once a week, I kind of just did that, but, you know, a little more rapidly. So, yeah, this is my, um, my Nano Reef right here, 24 gallon. If anybody has any, um... If anybody has any tips, hints, clues, instructions, I am here to read them because uh, I'm a very informational kind of guy. Um, I want to see more growth. Anybody have any programs for um, the lights? You know, the XR15s, I've been looking for, you know, a good set schedule for 24 gallons. If anybody knows, you know, how to mess with the spectrum stuff i'm using the local fish store one it's very blue which i have no problem of just hope everything is getting enough light to grow i hope my um rose tip bubble anemone really makes it out of this and uh strives he's not looking so bad yesterday he was hurt he's hurt to the spot where he's at though lots of like extra food goes down through there he knew the spot he was picking but the problem is he is not in my display so therefore i will be flipping this rock here right over so he gets a little bit more light or hopefully he just moves to a more showcase position in the beginning i had this I had this anemone, I believe I had this anemone like around here. The leather was further up on this like rock, like up more. The hammer where you see this little white spot from the rock is, was right there. Somehow the anemone jumped from like right here to all the way on top of the rock. The rock was like a different position. So basically I was just very scared that, you know, a little war started happening, I ended up losing my hammer, so I threw it up there, which I'm kind of happy about because I kind of like the leather there, I mean the hammer there, but I was intending to get a purple stylo, I wanted more piece of SPS. So yeah, um, worst comes to worst, I'll rip that whole rock off and cut that piece of rock right there, take that whole hammer out, you know what we got to do out here. That or I'll just... um put the purple stylo like somehow like right here. Hopefully the hammer doesn't uh, get too frisky. I could even put it like right here on that little ledge right there, little purple stylo. I feel like that makes it really empty right here, but we're still, you know, work in progress. Clean the bat, the bottom of this thing regularly. Like I'm, like I'm going to be religious about it. But um, yeah, man. I'm Look at his face. Look at his face. Oof. The fish store. Psh, I got this thing for eighty dollars. When I bought the radion lights, I had to get him. Said uh, he was going for like one forty. Got him. I think he looks like a little parakeet. He has like a little strip going down his whole face, middle of his face. Really is a beautiful fish. Tail is like a perfect design on the tail. Like an orange and black 